in the next 10, 20 years, we will see more change in higher education than we've seen in the last 200 years. And my role is to make sure that universities in general adapt and survive in this new state of things. Since I was a kid, I was always drawn to technology. Back in Greece in the 80s, I was one of the first generation of computer whiz kids. I made my first money by selling a version of Pac-Man that I wrote for a then popular home computer. After that, I went to Politecnio and I studied computer science and I came to the States. Uh, what I did not anticipate was that as I would grow older, I would become more interested not in technology per se, but in the way in which technology changes organizations and society. It looks like academia was my true calling. So in my research, I have researched how the internet has disrupted various industries like music, film, publishing, journalism. And now the internet is about to disrupt our own backyard, higher education. Higher education has entered a phase of transformation and experimentation. There's a number of forces driving this. Uh, tuition is really rising beyond what most households can afford. And increasingly, the way we educate uh, students is not compatible with the needs of the 21st century. Most universities are still in the industrial age and our world is very different. So Boston University has created a small innovation group whose purpose is to engage in strategic projects that will help transform the university and make sure that it always stays in the forefront of the latest and best uh, thinking in higher education. So I have the privilege of being the director of this small team. One of the trends in education right now is this notion of flipped or blended teaching. Essentially flipped means that what used to happen in the classroom now happens at home and what used to happen at home now happens in the classroom. More specifically, we get the professor to record their lectures and then students watch the lectures at home and then when they come in class they engage in problems, in projects, in case discussions, in group activities. And that way, the whole process of teaching is much more effective and, frankly, much more fun. The toughest thing is to convince an organization as traditional, conservative and resilient as a university to change. Our universities haven't really changed for years and most of my colleagues don't feel that they need to change until perhaps it's too late. What I like the most about uh, my work is the process of uh, giving birth to a new idea or of taking a small idea and, and, and helping it grow. For example, one thing we try to do is to convince more professors to use real-life projects when they educate students. So we try to build technologies that uh, facilitate how these professors can connect with companies and agencies to find those projects, and then we'll help them integrate those projects into their classrooms. The job of a professor in 10 or 20 years will be very different from what it is today. It's still gonna be exciting. It's still gonna be one of the most noble and valuable jobs in the world, but it's gonna be different. So if you join academia today, be prepared for change.